The top spot is always coming through for you, boy. No MCU, no guest the Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, Nickelodeon theme this time, but no. Top spot has a challenge involving my favorite universe out of all the universes that I know in this head of mine. As so if you guys paid attention to one of the last previous challenges, I forgot exactly which challenge I said this in, but I told you guys which universe was my favorite. It's not Marvel, not DC, not Capcom, not... Uh, um, yeah, the Dark Horse kind of, not all the universes you can name. Harry Potter, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Only people that truly, truly know me, truly know me, they would know that I would pick Harry Potter universe. I think there's only like two people in this whole world that would guess that. Everybody else would probably think Marvel. Or if they know outside of me, they'll think DC because I love Superman. You know what I'm saying? Superman is my favorite hero of all time. But no, it's the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. He got a challenge saying, guess the Harry Potter character from the quote. Let's test and see if my recollection can apply to quotes from Harry Potter movies. I know the MCU movies, I killed that even though the last challenge I missed two out of the whole thing. I right, post you guys comments. You're getting it, you're not getting it. You missed this, you missed that. Which one was the hardest for you, all right? Let's get the video at least to six likes. I'm gonna put six likes, all right? Now I'm holding the camera with one hand so I can't put the other uh, for the one. All right, so this is five. Just add another fucking finger to this uh, hand and then you have six. Add another fucking finger. I appreciate all the love and support. Let's get it, let's go. The top spot. Hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, about to explain to you how it works. Kind of like the MCU one, just, I don't know, give you options. Who said the quote? Guess which one makes the quote? Get as many as possible. Let's go. Number one. Let's get it. You're a wizard, Harry. Rubius Hagrid. Rubius Hagrid. Fucking Vernon Dursley. Remus Lupin! <laughs> Albus Dumbledore. Rubius Hagrid. Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your mum and dad learned it all? Learned it all? Learned what? Learned what? You're a wizard, You're Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? That's what he says next. I'm about to geek out on this shit. I'm about to geek out. Let's go. Why spiders? Why can't Ron or Weasley? I didn't even finish the goddamn thing and I knew it was about Ron. Ron hates spiders. <laughs> Why are spiders? Why can't he follow the butterflies? <laughs> Man. Ah, look at little Ron. Why spiders? Why can't he follow the butterflies? And they go in the forest and they find a big ass spider. The Dark Force. Red hair and a hand-me-down Draco Malfoy. I didn't, I'm not even finishing these goddamn quotes, and I'm just... You must be a Weasley. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. Draco Malfoy. Let's get it. Punk ass. I think my name's Bonnie, do you? I no need to ask you yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. That's why, that's why you got bitched out by fucking, um, what's his name? Uh, he was in, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. What is his name? Caesar. That's why you got punked by Caesar. Yeah, there you go. Had a dumb moment. Ah, number four, let's get it. Why is it when something happens, it's always you three? It is... Who is that? That's, um... Minerva? I think it's Minerva. Yeah, Minerva. Minerva McGonagall. Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? I believe that this is the Order of the Phoenix, I believe. Number five. Things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end, and it's not always in the way we expect. That is, uh, Luna Love God. Luna Love God. The weird ass 
uh, girl that can see the threshold. The scary looking horses that only people that have seen death can see. Wow. I'm a fucking nerd. Right. Anyway, my mom always said things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. She's so nice. She's so nice. If not always in the way we expect. So nice. Number six. <laughs> Happiness can be found even in the dark. Uh, Albus Dumbledore. Well, let me finish the quote for you guys. Happiness can be found even in the darkest times. If one only remembers to turn on the lights. <laughs> I like the way he says it too. You guys check this out. No cheers this time, you son of a bitches. But you know, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Number seven. Seventh heaven. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. That is... Remus Lupin. I believe. Oh, Sirius Black. You know, I had a feeling it was serious too. The world isn't split into good people and death eaters. We've all got both light and dark inside us. Uh, I had a feeling that I was too. What matters is the part we choose to act on. Hmm. Okay, I missed one. I don't think I'm gonna miss another one though. Alright, so there we are six for seven. I am six for seven. Okay, let's go. Every great wizard in history it started out as nothing more than Harry Potter. <sighs> Let me finish it. Every great wizard in history has started out as nothing more than what we are now. If they can do it, why not us? He says that to the people that he's teaching in the room of requirements, aka Dumbledore's army, as he liked to call them. The farce that that was. Think of it this way. Every great wizard in history has started out as nothing more than what we are now. Students. If they can do it, why not us? That's a great inspiring quote. Alright, seven for eight. Let's get it. Is this the quality of one's conviction that determines success, not the number of followers? That is, um... Shit. That's a good one. I'm going to say that is Remus Lupin again. There you go, Remus Lupin. I, I can't remember what scene he said that in. It is the quality of one's conviction is that determines success, not the number of followers. Who said that? Me. You know, that quote right there needs to be applied to some of some of uh, the people today's lives. I like Kingsley. All right, we are eight for nine. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Hermione Granger? Yep, she says that. Hermione Granger. I know damn Fred and George Weasley when I say that. Hermione Granger. Boy, oh boy. I know I ain't the only one that had a crush on this one right here. Jesus. Smart, intelligent. Let me shut the fuck up! Cambridge does like that. Who cares? I mean, it's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Who are, Who are you? you? What, what are you doing, Hermione Granger? Oh, I'm such a nerd. Right, let me get this ad real quick. Number 11. You may not like it, Minister, but you can not deny the uh, Kingsley Shacklebolt. <laughs> you may not like it, Minister, but you can't deny Dumbledore's got style. <laughs> Kingsley! Kingsley! Kingsley Shacklebolt. <laughs> oh, God. You may not like it, Minister, but you can't deny Dumbledore's got style. Kingsley. There is no such thing as magic. That is Vernon 
Dursley. Vernon Dursley. There goes Dudley's fat ass and Petunia's. I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. I'm not about to. No. That's not. No. Might be some kids watching. There's no such thing as magic. You know, that's so fucked up. CPS! Potter, take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. That is... Severus Snape? It's Severus Snape from the Nova I'm gonna say Severus Snape. Oh God, man! I mean, I, I said, I said, I said it was either Cerberus or Minerva, but I went with Cerberus at the end, so I'm gonna take that L. All right? I'm fair like that. Potter, take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. Uh, number fourteen, last question. Of course, it is happening inside your head, Harry. That was number one. Of course, it is ha it's happening inside your head, but why on earth should that mean that it's not real? Albus Dumbledore. God damn, I'm 12 for 14. That's crazy. Wait, is this 14? Yeah, it's 14. 12 for 14. Yeah. Wait, is this 14? Was that number 14? Yeah, that was number 14, right? Is this all real? Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean that it's not real? Yeah. Was that 14? I missed two of my last challenge video as well. I am disappointed. All right. I did say that I love Harry Potter out of all the other universes. But I knew that my retention for uh, movie quotes was not as strong as the MCU was. But still pretty strong nonetheless. Uh, 2 out of 14, that is, that is still pretty exceptional. Make sure you guys give me six likes. I know I didn't do perfect. I know I didn't. But can we at least get six likes? Can we get six fucking likes? That's half of the average view duration. All right, that's 50, 50%. Because it's average 12, so six of you do it, then that's fine, all right? And if I get five likes and I see a couple of days go by uh, and nobody likes my shit uh, for the number six, I'm going to like it myself. Don't make me do that. It's fucking embarrassing for me to have to like my own fucking shit. Um... But yeah, um, yeah. Post your comments down below. Let me know how many you guys missed. Let me know how you guys made. If you did better than me, then worse than me. You know. You guys take care and make sure your convictions are strong.